Les Chantes de Maldoror by Comte de Lautremont. First Canto. First Canto. First Canto. heaven that the reader emboldened and become momentarily as fierce as what he reads find without loss of bearings a wild and abrupt way across the desolate swamps of these somber poisoned filled pages for unless he bring to his reading a rigorous logic and mental application at least tough enough to balance his distrust. The deadly issues of this book will lap up his soul as water does sugar. It would not be good for everyone to read the pages which follow. Only the few may relish this bitter fruit without danger. So, timid soul, before further penetration of such uncharted steps, retrace your steps. Do not advance. Hear my words well. Retrace your steps. Do not advance. Resemble the eyes of a son who respectfully looks away when faced with an august maternal gaze. Or rather, a horizon chevron of chilly cranes, which in winter, with much meditation, fly powerfully through the silence, full sail toward a specific spot on the skyline. Whence springs a strange, strong wind, sudden herald of the storm. The oldest crane forming by herself the spearhead's tip sees this and shakes her head like a rational person causing her beak to click uneasy as i would be in her place while her old neck denuded of feathers and contemporaneous with three generations of cranes cranes and peevish waves which give warning of the ever approaching tempest Calmly, after surveying all sides several times with her experienced eyes, cautiously the leader. For it's she who has the privilege of displaying her tail plumage to her less intelligent companions. With the vigilant cry of a doleful sentry to repel the common enemy, deftly swerves the apex of the geometric figure. Perhaps a triangle, but impossible to see the third side traced in space by these curious birds of passage. Now port, now starboard, like a clever captain, and maneuvering with wings apparently no larger than a sparrow's, she takes them, being no booby, another, safer, and more philosophic course. course. course.